Hey everybody, this is me again with Life on Muscular Dystrophy. Today I talk about life events surrounding fifth grade that helped me. One of the greatest things that I've enjoyed throughout my whole life was my friendship with the Estes family. When it was my birthday, they would always do things for me that were special at any day. My 11th birthday in particular, Kay Estes, who was like a second mother to me, brought me the probably the best thing that ever happened in my life. I've always liked chickens. I had raised been around chickens all my life but I didn't have anything special to do with them no show chickens anything like that I can remember when she came to my door with my birthday present the family usually gave me like two dollar bills and you know something that was really cool for me But she brought a lot of information about chickens. Some of it was from the agricultural co-op. And another was a catalog from Murray McMurray Hatchery. Oh, this catalog was amazing. I loved seeing all the chickens in it. I didn't know there was all these show chickens and things like that. I knew my brothers had had chickens, but I didn't know they were this cool. I memorized that catalog. I still have the Murray McMurray Hatchery catalog memorized. Their number is 1-800-456-3280 and I haven't called that in a decade. This catalog is amazing. And for that, we had bought some chickens from the feed store and I decided to show those in the fair because I was so excited about this. And, of course, they weren't show chickens, so they didn't do that well. I put four white laggards in. Three were disqualified because they were production laggards. And then I got a blue ribbon on another one. But I kind of think that was maybe sympathy. I'm not sure. Well, I started getting interested in chickens. And eventually, my brothers helped me get some bantam chickens to start with, those for show chickens. And oh, I love those beautiful little bantam chickens. They're soft and some people call them bandy, some people call them whatever, but I call it, they're bantams. I had Rhode Island Reds and single comb white Laggards and Rosecomb White Laggards. Then eventually I got some Bardrock Bantams. I love looking into their genetics. And chickens were a great distraction from all the things bothering me. I had a lot of help from teachers and people at church. But chickens were kind of my lifesaver. And my brothers did a lot to help me with those chickens. And of course my parents did. Especially now that I can't take care of my chickens. If you look at this picture right here, you'll see that I got several ribbons and things like that from chickens. Unfortunately, I had bad luck with dogs. And one summer, I lost all my roosters. And as you might imagine, without roosters, it's hard to get any baby chickens. So having chickens is one thing that helped distract me from my problems in fifth grade. I would go out there every day. I'd spend time looking at my chickens, talking to them. There was this one rooster that I named Roost because from the time he was a little chick, He would sit on my finger. 
and I called his son Little Roost. He did the same. And now I've got a beautiful rooster named Braveheart. If you love chickens, you just love them. If you don't, you probably don't get what I'm talking about. But whatever it is in life, if you're having problems, you need some kind of hobby or something that will take your mind off of those things. I haven't found anything that can take the place of chickens in my life. I tried computer games and well, that was a distraction, but really it made me think more about what I would like to be doing and what I couldn't be doing. So the moral of this is, find something you're interested in, or if you're trying to help a child or some other person, try to look at what they're interested in and help them get more interested in it. I always liked chickens, but until K. Estes brought all that information to me, I didn't know what I was missing. It like opened up a whole new world to me. And that is probably one of the big impacts of my life around fifth grade. Thank you, and next week I'll talk about sixth grade and then about how that affected my life.